Party. Well, I'm delighted to say that the rapper and activist Zuby joins me now. Zuby, um, are the left branding people conspiracy theorists to try and censor them, do you think? Hey, Dan, good to see you. My voice is a little bit weak today. Um, oh, you're sounding so- like, um, <laughs> you know, who's that? Uh, Brown, you know who I mean. Barry White. <laughs> Oh, Barry White. Okay, I'll take I'll take that one. Um, yeah. So I don't think that it's like many things. I don't think it's as simple as um, as a left and right issue. But I think that we are living in a time where people want to label people to avoid having to contend with their ideas. We've seen many variations of this a few years ago. Whether it came to people who voted for Trump or Brexit, it was calling people racist and then calling them white supremacists, even going as far as calling them Nazis. And then things shifted to the COVID narrative and it became grandma killers and anti-vaxxers and uh, anti-science and so on. And now it's shifted again. People are now being called conspiracy theorists, uh, anyone who questions any narrative. And honestly, I think it's just laziness. I think it's intellectual laziness and I think it's dishonesty. Um, I just listened to that Russell Brand clip right there and I didn't find anything objectionable at all in it. And I think people should be encouraging uh, one another to ask questions and to challenge the narrative. I think it's very dangerous to just have everybody marching in lockstep on every single issue, not asking any questions, not questioning the authorities at all. I mean, in countries such as the the UK, I mean, that's one of the great values that we have in that you can question and challenge the authorities. And so, yeah, I think it's a very lazy label. And I think people think they can just stick a label on it and then they don't need to, they don't need to go any further. They don't need to explain what the person is wrong about. They don't need to explain what is a, you know, misinformation or disinformation. They just throw those words out there and they think that they're done. Do you think Russell Brand could be Britain's answer to Joe Rogan, Zuby? Well, I think they do somewhat different things, although there is a little bit of an overlap there. What I like with both of those individuals, I know, Joe, I haven't met Russell, but I like the fact that they are intellectually curious and ultimately they are themselves. I don't think that Russell Brand is trying to be Joe Rogan. I think he's just being Russell Brand and he's been through many evolutions over the course of the past several decades. And what he's doing now with his YouTube channel and commentary is something quite different to what he was doing, say, 10 years ago. Not everyone is going to like it when you start doing new things. Not everyone is going to agree with you or like the fact that you're even changing and going into some lanes that perhaps you weren't initially known for. But we live in this wonderful society where people have the freedom and liberty to do that. And you know what? If you don't like what he's saying or if you think he's incorrect, you could make a YouTube video or you could make a Twitter thread or a blog or something explaining what you take issue with or explaining the things that he said that you think he got wrong. Um, in many time, in many cases now, there's this dangerous notion where people would rather censor or deplatform people with ideas that they disagree with rather than debate them, rather than conversate, yeah. rather than challenge them. We all have lots so of right. different ideas and we all have the platform to speak them.